Okay, number nine. You want to solve x to the four minus four x to the three plus four x squared minus nine equal to zero. And they they give you one of the root that that r one equal to one plus square root of two i. Now this is the fourth power, so you're going to get four answers. So you only have one, so you have to look for the other three. Well, you can find the second one fast because this this one has a square root and an i, so you must have a conjugate. So r two is going to be one minus square root of two i. Okay. Okay. So now this you can factor into two factors. Okay, this can factor in two factors. So we need to know what goes in here. To do that, we need to we can use this to find one half of that, one half of this equation. Okay, so for this, you don't want to um, you don't want to go ahead and, you know go ahead and use the parentheses, use the factors. You want to use a root equation because it, it would be messy. Okay, so you got x squared minus r one plus r two x plus r1, r2 equal to 0. So you get x squared minus... Okay, so get your template ready. So when you're adding, this plus or minus will cancel out, so you just have 1 plus 1 will give you 2. Now when you multiply, you multiply the corresponding num uh, part. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus times minus is minus, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2, negative um, i times i is negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 2 will give you plus 2. So if this two answer came from x squared minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Okay? So again, we're going backwards. So, so this came from this, okay? and this, this came from two parts. So this would be x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay? So again, this will break into two factors, and this factor will give you these two answers. So when you go backward, these two answers will give you this, this part, and this part will become this, this factor over here. Now to find this part, we have to do the long division. Okay. So you get x to the 4 minus 4x to the 3 plus 4x squared. You have to leave a space for the x and minus 9. Divided by x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay, so you can just look at the first term. So we need to get x squared over here. Okay, so that's going to multiply. So this would be x to the 4 um, minus 2x to the 3 plus 3x squared. So put, around, put parentheses around that, subtract. So this will cancel out. Negative 4 minus negative 2, this becomes negative 4 plus 2. So negative 4 plus 2, you're going to end up with negative 2. 4 minus 3 will give you 1. So you drop that, which is nothing. So you can look at this one over here. So you need to get minus 2x. This will always go down in order. Okay, so that's going to multiply. So you got minus 2x to the 3. This will be plus 4x squared minus 6x. Put parentheses around it. Subtract. So 1 minus 4 will give you negative 3. 0 minus negative 6 will give you plus 6x. You drop the next one. Okay, and this one should be a minus 3. Okay? And so when you multiply, you got negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. So when you subtract, it will give you 0. Right? And it has to because this is a factor of that. So when you divide, you have to, you, the, the remainder should have equal to 0. You have to divide exactly. If not, that means you're doing something wrong. Okay, so now we know this goes in here, okay? So now we know that this goes in here. So now we can solve this part. So this part will give these two answers. This part, okay, that's going to solve. So x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Um, let's, go and, let's go and see if it's factorable, okay? So you have to add to get negative 2, multiply to get negative 3, right? So 1 comma negative 3. Uh, so this works. So this is factorable. So you're going to get x plus 1, x minus 3. So from here, you set it equal to 0. Then you solve. So minus 1 on each side, so x equal to negative 1, plus 3 on each side. So you got x equal to 3. So now you can put all your answers together. 
So you're gonna your answer would be negative one, three, right? This two, and you got two answers up here from here. So you're gonna get one plus or minus square root of two i. So look for the answer. This would be answer C. Okay, number 10. This one, they give the answers, you have to get the equation. Okay, so the answers are negative 2 and 3 minus i. Okay, so you're looking for cube equation. So right away, you need to get three answers. Okay, so from here, you got, you got i over here. So when you have it, whenever you see i of square root, you need to get the conjugate. So it would be plus 3 plus i. Okay, so now we so we need to work backwards. So from the three answer, we need to get the equation. So from here, I'm going to use a root equation to get this answer. So r1 equal to 3 minus i, r2 equal to 3 plus i. Okay, so the root equation, you got x squared minus r1 plus r2, x plus r1, r2 equal to 0. Okay, so you got x squared minus plus Okay, so when you add, this will cancel out, so you got 3 plus 3 will give you 6. When you multiply, okay, you have to multiply the matching uh, part. So 3 times 3 is 9, minus times plus is minus, i times i is negative 1, times negative will give you plus 1. So from here, you're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 10 equal to 0. Okay, so these two answers came from this part. So now we can include this part over here now. So holding together, so this came from x plus 2. So this answer, this answer came from these. These two answers came from this part. Okay, so now that's going to distribute. So you got x to the 3 minus 6x squared plus 10x. And this one would be, uh, I'm going to write it down below. So it would be plus 2x squared minus 12x plus 20 okay and so equal to 0 I kind of write this way easier for me to line things up so you got x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2x plus 20 equal to 0 and this will be answer D Number 11, use a rational root theorem to define which of the following could not be a root of. So you got 6x cubed plus 23x squared minus 6x minus a equal to 0. Okay. So first, let's go and list the possibilities. So, so the factor of 6 would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. The factor of the 8 would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, or plus or minus 4, okay, and plus or minus 8. Okay, so this is a factor of 8. Then you have to use this divided by this. Okay? So this will give you plus or minus 1. This, would, this 2 would be plus or minus 1 over 2. This 2 would be plus or minus 1 over 3. This 2 would be, one, uh, would be plus or minus 1 over 6. And you go to the next one. So this would be plus or minus 2. This one would be plus or minus 1, but you already have. This one would be plus or minus 2 over 3. This would be plus or minus 2 over 6, which is 1 third, so you already have. Okay, so that's it. Now I go to the 4. Okay, so it would be plus or minus 4. This would be plus or minus 2, but you already have. This would be plus or minus 4 over 3. Okay, and this two would be plus or minus 2 over 3, which you already have, okay? You go to the next one. So this would be plus or minus 8. Plus or minus 4, you already have. This would be plus or minus 8 over 3. This would be plus or minus 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3, so you already have. Okay, so here's your entire list. So which one it cannot be? Well, if you look at answer C, Answer C is 3 over 4, so 3 over 4 is not on the list, okay? 
So C is not on the list. Therefore, it cannot be a root of this. Okay, number 12, you got P of X equal to X cubed minus 4. Now, obviously, the easy way to do it is, is solve. The easy way to do it is, you know, just set equal to 0 pl by plus 4 on both sides, X cubed equal to 4, and X equal to cube root of 4. So X is equal to 1.5874. And therefore, by just looking at that, the answer would be B, right? So this is when you have a calculator, you can do, you know, you can do this. Okay, but if, but if, if the equation is so complicated, you cannot solve directly, then you have to do approximation. And the way to do it is by making a table and you just keep refining your table. So for example, okay, so x and you got p of x, right? So you start with, so the kind of give you a clue, it tells you it's going to be between 1 and 2, right? But let's just, let's say if you don't know anything, Okay, so you, if x equal to 0, you put 0 in here, you're going to get negative 4, right? And then you go 1, so, so, P of, so you're going to get 1 to the 3, minus 4, and so you're going to get negative 3. And if you go 2, you're going to get 2 to the 3, minus 4, you go to 4, okay? So you know that, again, you want to get the 0, so the answer is somewhere in between here, okay? So this is what you do, okay? So you're going to refine your table. So you're going to, you know it's between one and two, so you put one, two over here, okay? And it's going to be negative three and four. So you know that the zero is somewhere in between here, so I'm going to try something between, so I'm going to try 1.5, okay? And you enter it in the calculator, so you got 1.5 to the three minus four, and this will equal to negative 0 0.625, okay? Okay, so now we know the answer is going to be between these two numbers. Okay, so you can just refine the table, keep repeating the process. So when you get 1.5, you get negative 0 0.625. When you get 2, you're going to get 4. So you know that, the, the, again, you want to get 0 over here. Okay, so you know this is going to be very close to 1.5. Okay, so, so the number is going to be between here. So I'm going to try... It's going to be between, again, it's very close. The zero is very close to that. So I'm going to just try 1.6. So you're going to get 1.6 to the 3 minus 4. This will equal to 0 0.096. Okay. So now you got positive, you got negative. So the answer is going to be between here. So again, you keep going, refine your table. Okay. So you got 1.5, you get negative 0 0.625. And uh, 1.6, no, uh, yeah, and 1. Point, uh, 1.60, you're going to get 0 0.096. So again, the answer is going to be somewhere in between, okay? So, and again, the answer is going to be closer to here, okay? So I'm going to try 1.58, for example, okay? So the, the halfway in between would be one point. Um, Five five right, but again this is close. The zero is closer to here than here, so I want to get the number very closer. So you can again just all you do is just kind of guess the number and you keep re refining. So if you try one point five eight, then you then you you get a calculator. So one point five eight cube minus four, and this will give you negative zero point zero five five. Okay. okay. So now, well, you know the answer is going to be between here. The answer is going to be between these two numbers. It's going to be right over here. That means the answer is going to be between here. Okay? So it's going to be 1.58 something. Okay? But you don't have to go anymore because all you want to do is to the 10th. Okay? So you chop it off right over here. You chop it off right over here. And you can see that this will run it up. So answer would be 1.6 if you run it up. And so this answer would be answer B. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, number 13. Uh, you want to find the approximation, so you got F. You're looking for F of 2.64, okay? And, and the given is that F of 2.6, is equal to 4.97 and f of 2.7 is equal to 5.12 okay so you can just go and make the table so f of 2.6 match it with uh, okay let's do this okay and and you want to somewhere in between so 2.7 Okay, so let's go and do the linear interpolation. So let's go and use this pair. So you're going to get x minus 4.97. So this will match with 2.64 minus 2.6. Okay, this again, this match with this, this match with that. Then I'm going to use the next pair. So I got 5.12 minus 4.97. So 5.12 match with 2.7, and 4.97 match with 2.6. Okay. So now let's go and simplify a little bit. So I get x minus 4.97 over 0. Uh, oh wait, let me double check. So this will give me okay, 0 0.15, there we go. And this will equal to 0 0.04 and be 0 0.1. Okay, let's go and multiply by 0 0.15, 0 0.15. So this will cancel out. So I get x minus 4.97 equal to, so get your calculator, you work it out, so you get 0 0.06. Then you plus 4.97 on both sides. So you got x equal to 5.03. And so again, so this would be answer C.